the channel so this video is one of the most important video on the channel so make sure to watch this till end because you are get, going to get lot of things in this video okay lot of updates and lot of other things also very useful things for yourself so make sure to watch this video till end first i'm going to show you a corporate level project and i'm going to explain you as well so if you want you can add it in your resume as well okay <clears throat> also we'll be discussing about the webinar what are the contents of the webinar what is the things that i am going to cover okay and finally we are going to discuss about the upcoming videos on the channel okay so team make sure to watch this video till end so you don't miss anything because if you do then it will create lots of confusion for yourself also team if you are new on the channel make sure to join this telegram group because whatever update i have regarding the channel uh, i'll put it here here <coughs> also if you are having any issues doubt or queries you can just put it here and me or my team members or like someone else in the group will try to help you okay okay also team uh, it's a good good news that we have just crossed 20000 subscribers which is a huge milestone so thanks you uh, thank you all for that so <coughs> sorry about that i'm little sick still okay also team uh, yeah so with that being said let's get okay. started so starting with the webinar that is going to happen on 10th of december i am just explaining you the things that we are going to cover in that and please make sure to register for that because it's completely free and it's going to be really useful for every one of you okay okay let me explain you what we are going to do first of all in simple words we are going to build and deploy our 10 tier microservice application okay that means an application that has 10 different components of microservice okay separate components are divided in each uh, like one one microservice we are going to build and deploy that application okay not just that for, for that we are going to set up our own kubernetes cluster okay so we will we are going to set up a kubernetes cluster from scratch in aws that also i'll be guiding you step by step so that you don't get confused about anything else okay once we set up our uh, kubernetes master node then we'll be setting up worker node okay but the best part in worker node i'll be guiding you with auto scaling as well and as i told everything will be doing from uh, like scratch as well as live so that you understand what is auto scaling in worker node okay once that is done then we are going to use you know like devops is all about using best practices so to make sure that we are following best practices i am going to use role based access control for kubernetes so that when we are performing deployments we are not simply using root account or something else we are using a separate uh, service account created okay with specific uh, access level okay so that we can do using rbac or role based access control so once we create a role then <coughs> we need to create a service account okay then we are going to do like binding between them so that service account has specific level of access that we want okay this is called like using best practices for now okay next once our kubernetes cluster is completely set up we are going to set up our jenkins from scratch that is the main part like everything that i am explaining here we are going to do from scratch so that you don't get confused or something okay once we set up our jenkins from scratch we are going to make sure that jenkins is able to connect to kubernetes and able to perform deployments directly on kubernetes okay that part will be done and you know everything as i mentioned again and again i am going to do from scratch so you also able to you will be able to do it on your machine okay then we are going to write uh, jenkins pipeline from scratch one sample pipeline if i want to show you let me see where is it yes this is one of the sample pipeline that i have created it's not complete actually but i was just testing it but you can see here that there are so many different microservice component tier service card service checkout service so many different microservice component and this is one of the sample pipeline that i am showing you but this uh, the pipeline that i'll be showing you in webinar will be much bigger because we are going to add more and more stages okay so these are one of the uh, uh, kind of pipelines that we are going to create and we are going to build docker images for each microservice component separately okay once that part is done then we are going to perform deployment through jenkins to kubernetes okay and as i told we are going to perform everything following the best practices and the best possible ways to do anything okay and yeah so this is about the webinar the link for registering to this webinar will be in the description so do not hesitate or do not forget to register because only 5 days are left okay and we have limited seats and since it is free for limited number of people okay so as of now we have around 1500 uh, i am not checked but yeah that amount is there 
so i would suggest you as soon as possible try to register because on 10th there will be a webinar held okay okay team. so this is one thing completed coming to next thing which is a corporate project for your resume right so let me explain you and let me show you uh, that as well so welcome back okay before i show you the corporate project a few things i wanted to tell you so these four projects that you see these are actually from my batch one and i wanted to show you one corporate project here okay in batch two i am going to have around six corporate project and in batch three i'll be having 10 corporate level projects the reason that the main reason that you should learn more and more about corporate le level projects because when you go for interviews nobody is expecting you to do hello world deployment or like simple web page deployment right nobody expects that because if you are able to do that everyone else is also able to do that so if you want to stand out you should be having proper knowledge about corporate level projects because those are the projects that are being used in companies okay and that is exactly what i am trying to teach in my course okay and yeah everything that i teach is it's like following the best practices side by side i am trying to showcase real time scenarios real time troubleshooting issues real time how do we write pipeline for example if i show you one corporate example pipeline uh, i cannot show you everything but yeah starting from here this is one of the corporate uh, pipeline which i used to work on if i scroll down till end you can see how long it is okay and these are the kind of uh, pipelines that you should know that you should have experience in writing because if you are writing just simple pipeline it's not going to be useful reality i'm telling you team and i have seen like on youtube also nobody is teaching they are teaching cicd pipelines it's fine but a proper full stack pipeline that is being used in corporate level that is not there okay and that's what i'm trying to do that's what i'm trying to teach in my courses or like free or paid courses both okay yeah so that will be enough and let me now explain you the corporate level project okay now this project is you can call it like uh, service request home okay so this is one of the project that is going to exist in every single company why because every company what happens they sell products they, uh, some of them may sell product some of them may sell services right so basically this is one of the project that i used to work on so here what happens like for example let's say i'm selling a platform whose name is like dave platform so if client want to buy any service or product they can what they can do they can log into this site okay i'll explain everything just listen up okay they will log into this site okay and from here <coughs> they can choose the option they want for example if they want to buy my product they can click here dev platform they can fill their details like okay this is my uh, engagement id and this is my so and so and they can choose okay if they are already using my platform they want key okay i want to add more storage they can request here they can provide the relevant details and they can get it after obviously after approval okay then initial support so let's say they have already purchased my product but they do not have much experience with it so they can request for initial uh, one week support where we will connect to them directly and i will show them or guide them how to use this how to create uh, like how to set up your project basically okay then we have add devops compo so basically it's like if they are using my platform and they want to add more components to it they can raise a request here with proper approval and all okay let's say client wants to get a vm virtual machine so in companies mnc companies what happens the nobody is allowed to use a vm that is outside company okay or outside company network so if you want to use a virtual machine you need to buy it inside the company that is one of the uh, things that happen in uh, mnc companies mostly so yeah so if client want to use a virtual machine they have to buy it inside the company and they can raise the request here they can provide details okay i want a vm with this much storage this much this much ram this much cpu so and so and they can get a vm okay that that vm is basically inside a secured environment a secured network which is of the company okay <laughs> then next is create infrastructure so let's say a client want to set up its own infrastructure okay secured infrastructure basically so what they can do they can provide the re relevant details here okay uh, i want uh, infrastructure whose design will be like this so, so and so and they can get it created okay this is the kind of project that exists now let me explain you about its architecture how it's getting built and deployed okay so let me show you that as well okay team so now let's discuss about the architect architecture of the application okay so consider this it's a kubernetes cluster okay and the project that i showed you so each component that you see here it has its own version of uh, proper set 
okay proper project set so what we are doing we are building each of the component separately as a microservice and then we are deploying it together on the kubernetes cluster so you can see these are these six are the services that we are providing and for each there is a separate uh, like code written of everything okay coming to one last thing that you will be able to see is base okay now thinking about base so base is basically this backend thing you are seeing background image and all thing on which all these things are integrated okay that we are calling it as base okay then we have like uh, other things like uh, logout login so for that also separate components will be there which uh, i have actually not added but yeah you can understand that there are multiple components okay since it's a microservice based application there, there will be more more and more components okay now talking about how it got deployed so yes we are using jenkins for that okay and we can write pipelines and for stages of pipeline basically let me explain you that as well okay so we have actually backend and frontend two pipelines uh where uh, like we will be building frontend part and backend part and then we deploy both like we get the docker image and all and then we deploy both of them okay in that way it works it's little bit complex but to give you a overview about how this is being done this is the thing okay also inside kubernetes basically what we do uh, for this specific project since there may exist multiple projects inside the inside the kubernetes okay so to make sure that uh, uh, parts of one specific project should should exist separately what we have done we have created a separate namespace and inside that namespace we are putting up the pods like we are deploying our pods specific uh, pods of specific project okay projects of this kind may exist multi, uh, like uh, different projects may exist so yeah to make sure that everything is uh, in its own region we are using namespaces okay so this is the uh, overview about the project that uh, you can even understand okay but team see to be very frank if you want uh, like complete real time project and real time scenarios then yeah those things i tried to put in my uh, uh, paid course because it takes a lot of effort and hard work and i want if i'm putting uh, that much effort then yeah it should be like fruitful for everyone so yeah i have put and yeah again i am saying team if you want to learn things uh, from scratch about devops plus cloud devops then yeah you can register to batch 3 okay it costs around 6000 and trust me after the course is completed you will be happy that okay i learned everything and everything that i try to teach it's completely deep plus everything is uh, relevant with corporate level things okay corporate level projects or tools and everything yes team so <coughs> this Uh, now let's talk about some of the upcoming videos or projects that i have planned so from uh, actually since i am little sick these days so i am not able to do much things okay but yeah upcoming uh, in january what what things we are going to do we are going to start a new azure devops session not just a azure devops it's going to be azure cloud as well so that you can learn complete azure okay plus we are going to complete the python course but <coughs> as of now i'm little sick so i cannot do it right now but yeah i'll be doing that soon okay these are the things that we are plan plus so many new things will be coming on the uh, uh, channel okay slowly slowly one by one interview experiences and plus uh, uh, like uh, interview questions and so many more things okay so stay tuned and just keep supporting me so that will be all for today team also all the links for the thing that i explained will be in the description the uh, webinar session will be in the description the link for my batch 3 course which is starting uh, also team just to let you know uh, <coughs> batch 3 you'll be having access to batch 1 and batch 2 content as well okay so that is like a golden opportunity so yeah everything link will be in the description you can just enroll if you want okay so that will be all team and thanks for watching so have a nice day